Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Well, let's jump right in and start modeling our second sci-fi building. Now when I created this one there are specifically some design features that I thought about which makes this uh, especially beneficial for view and I will uh, address that as we get to it. So let's start off by coming up here to lines. I'm going to create a line, circle from center. Let me enable my bottom modeling plane. And I'm just going to create a circle with 20 points. That's fine. And I will zero it out here in my 3D world space. And I'm going to come back here and well, I'll just duplicate the one I've got. Come back to my scene tree. And let me open up my properties. Uh, I'll duplicate this one. Now on this, uh, this curve here, I want to add more points to it. So I'm just going to increase the smoothing a couple times come down here to dynamic geometry, collapse my lightning bolt to commit that level of smoothing. And now I've got my two curves um, both in the same spot. Well, the low resolution one I, I will hide and I will work right now in the high resolution one. So I'm going to come over here to sweep surface and hit my space bar a couple times and essentially just create a little cone like this. And I think that looks good. <clears throat> I'm going to hit my space bar because what I want to do is come across and uh, almost fill in, you know, get, you know, get uh, the radial action of this tool. And because what I want to do is create a little retaining wall here, at, or in other words, add some thickness to this to this cone, as if it were a wall. Because this whole structure right here is going to be. Um, a viewing platform or like a terrace and the tool fails on me I want to have this action but I want to do it down here it's not going to let me do it so I'm just going to come up click validate select edges loop that okay now I can come down and and create a wall and I guess right there is fine now what I'm going to do is close this off like that and select faces, select that. Let me zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to hit my sweep surface and I'm going to dial in an inner radius. Say to right there, click, uh, dial it in again, click there. Dial it in oh, a little bit more there. And now I'm going to use my space bar. And now I want to come up. Actually, you know what? I will, uh, I'll just click right there. That's fine. I'll hit that shift plus, and I'll delete that. I'm going to enable that second curve that I created because this these will be my windows. The reason why I didn't uh, create my windows out of this is there's just too many there's just too many polygons here and it would have created far more windows than what I really want. So I'm just gonna make life easier on myself and I'll stretch it out just a little bit. There we are, sweep surface tool and I'll drag it up oh, to there, click, to there, click, and to there, and I'll click. I'll close off the top, and with select faces, I'm going to select one of these top edges, top polygons, loop that, sweep surface, and use my radial function. I think that's radial, yeah, radial function tool. And I'll just create a little bit of an overhang up top here. And I'm going to select those, hit loop, and use my extract tool. This will be 
glass, and I don't know why I'm naming it because it's going to undo everything that I just, uh, the name that I just gave it. I'm going to hit ring, and I'm going to come over here to edge tools, and I'm going to click on my first one here, and I want the fillet tool, and let me abort that, undo, and it often doesn't work for me the first time, so I need to do it twice. There we are. Now, just uh, like with the first model that I did in the second tutorial, I'm just going to create a little thickness here, a little division between these uh, these windows. And I'm just going to select these windows, just like that. Because when we get into view, we will apply a transparent material to them. And a, or a reflective material to make them look like it's glass. Uh, extract, now I'll name it glass. I'll hide that. And these two things can probably just be welded together. Now I'll come back to this original form here. Now here's one of the things that I thought about when I created this is I want this to be a viewing platform that I want to put an ecosystem on. But <clears throat> if I were to create a whole bunch of plants, bushes, shrubs, or even trees, they're depending upon the scale of the objects that, that I planted here, there's going to be probably some vegetation that gets poking through the sides here and so if you're viewing the thing on the side you'd see vegetation here poking through and and I really don't want that I don't mind if it grows over say if this is a tree okay so I don't I'm not gonna win any awards for my tree drawing ability I don't mind if it grows over the top, but I don't want it poking through this apparent solid wall here. So that's why, one, I created some thickness here, and two, I created a space, a buffer space here, because where I have selected it in red, that's where I want to place my ecosystem on. And it gives me a little bit of a, um, a, a little bit of space between the the wall here and this barrier or and and this the end of my selection for where I'm going to plant my ecosystem it gives me a little space here so that hopefully my vegetation won't poke through so with with this selection of polygons I'm going to extract that and I'm going to call it uh, ecosystem So I've got my glass. I'll uh, apply a material to that. All right, ecosystem. And I will apply the same thing to my windows. So now you can see there is definitely some different, there are a few different elements to this. Now, uh, hide that. Hide my glass, hide the ecosystem. These two objects here are all going to have the same texture, so I'm just going to weld them together. And Well, you can call it whatever you want, build, building. And I've got ecosystem and glass. Now, on my building, I do want to close off the bottom. I'm going to group all these together. Control D to duplicate that. Let me raise it up just a little bit. Resize it, bring it down. Now ideally what I want is a nice straight line. Okay, a little straighter than that. A nice straight line as these additional sections start getting smaller. I don't want it like this, and I don't want it like this. I guess that looks pretty good. Raise it up a little bit, 
lay on, click on the bottom, click on the top there, and that looks good. I'm going to select both of these, group them together, control D to duplicate that, and I will raise this one up, and I'll resize it, bring it right back down here. Lay on. There we are. Now we need to create a top for that. And I'll just create a sphere. I'll give it 12 points. Let me zoom in on it. Select edges. Select those edges. Loop that. Hit F to convert that selection to faces. Shift plus the... Uh, we need to I'll select those two. Loop that. F to... Sol to change that selection of edges to faces. Hold down shift, hit plus on the numeric side of my keyboard a couple times. And now I'll delete that, come to vertex modeling, close off the bottom, lay on, click on the bottom, click on the top of the building, lay it right on top. And let's resize this a little bit, make it look somewhat sci-fi-ish and somewhat to scale. Okay, I like that. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. Select edges. Select that edge. I'll loop that. Come down here to Edge Tools and I'll just create just a small little um, new edge here. And I will expand that out so that it's the same size as the bottom one there. Select faces. Select those. Sweep surface, and I will come across to the radial function here, and I'll just give a little lip to that, just to create a little bit more detail. And now I'm happy with that. Lay on, put it right there on top. And there we've got a neat little sci-fi building that we can put an ecosystem on. Now I want to do one other thing. And that is, let me zero this out here in my world, 3D world. Let me first select all these groups. What is this one? Oh, that's the top. Okay. Let me select all these, group them together, put this in the center of my world. Okay, let me now place this where it belongs. I want to create an additional hmm, kind of design feature. I have no idea what you would call this, but it would just be another building. And I want to have it cut into it. Let me re-enable my original one here. There it is. I kind of like it. It adds just another little uh, element to this. Sort of a sci-fi-ish element. And I guess I'll bring it right up to there. I do want it to be a little bit thinner. There we are. I'm going to select these edges here. And with them selected, I'm going to hit my chamfer tool, add a few extra points, and now I'm just going to create a nice, even chamfer on this. I'm going to control D and duplicate this object, shrink it down a little bit, lay on. Uh, snap on the bottom, snap on the bottom there, hit my inversion on, and now it's centered right in the middle. And I guess I can do whatever I want. I can pull it out as far as I like, whatever my eye is comfortable with. 
So that's creating the second sci-fi building and the design elements that I wanted to incorporate into this are one, these, these little chamfered cubes here that, that could easily be used as uh, or, or interpreted as additional sci-fi looking structures. I know it doesn't look like a whole lot now because it's, uh, there are no textures to it. But when we go to apply some textures that we're going to create in Photoshop, uh, I think it'll look a lot nicer. And we've got, which is native to view, the ability to put an ecosystem on here. In addition to that, with the design consideration of using two different resolution circles, one for the building and another to create these windows that made it a little easier because when we went to create these windows we wouldn't have all of these additional polygons to contend with. So these, those are the design ideas or features that I want to incorporate into this one. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller and we're going to create the third tutorial, uh, create the third building in another tutorial and then we'll head on over into Photoshop and create some tiling textures to go onto our sci-fi building. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.